Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to make the detail fragment that's going to allow us to view individual documents. And in doing so, we're going to learn about this new instance pattern for creating fragments. All right, so one more fragment to make. Uh, this is going to be called the doc detail fragment. Uh, we'll use a blank fragment again. Uh, and this time, uh, rather than using the interface callbacks, we're going to use the other checkbox here, which is the fragment factory methods. OK, I'm going to right click on fragments. One more time, new fragment blank one. And we said that we were going to call this the doc detail fragment. Layout's fine. Uh, and we want the, uh, the factory methods, but no callbacks. We'll finish this guy up. And let's go ahead and grab uh, the contents of the layout. I've given these to you. Uh, so what that layout is going to look like, if we look back here, all right, is we're going to use a linear layout with the title up top. And then the, all the text right here uh, is going to be one big text view, but it's going to have to be scrolling because it's probably not going to fit there. Certainly, the Declaration of Independence doesn't fit on one screen. Um, so uh, what we've done here is a text view for the title and then a scroll view in here uh, that's going to take up the rest of the space uh, and then a text view uh, within that. All right, so that's, that's our goal. So go ahead and, and copy and paste that into your, uh, into your fragment doc detail. So I'm going to go ahead and find that here, layout, uh, fragment.detail. That's the one that it made. Grab it, paste it in, format it up if you like, uh, and it should be ready to go. Okay. All right, let's talk a bit about uh, what's going on in, in, this, uh, in, this, um, in the starting code that we're given. We asked for this, uh, you know, for, for the, um, let's, let's come back. Um, and to the to the detail fragments, right? Um, so so we asked for the factory methods here, right? And we're going to see that a factory method is just something that that creates uh, something else, um, and it's a, a pretty common design pattern. It's this guy right here called new instance, right? And we see that that, that what it's doing is it's is it's making um, the fragment. It's setting some arguments uh, um, in a, in something called a bundle here, uh, and then it's going to return. Um, the fragment that it created, right? So you can think of it as kind of like a constructor. So let's talk about this for, for a minute. Um, what we really need to do in, in this app, when we launch uh, any of these fragments, we need to pass in the document, right? And it's, it's fairly common that you'd need to pass some data into your fragment when you create it. Right? Uh, so you might wonder, uh, why don't we use a constructor with just an argument, you know, pass in the document as an argument to, to the constructor? Uh, and that's that's a good idea. I mean, you know, using a method to do that and handling um, everything within the within the constructor is a great idea. I mean, you get typecasting or type checking uh, um, on the document, right? So that's 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 a good thing. Uh, but right, there's there's a limitation to the system here. Um, Android, as we know, because of the life cycle, will sometimes you know if your fragment gets hidden or something or it needs to reclaim some memory, will actually kill your fragment and then recreate it when when needed, right? Um, and, and to do so, it's, it's, it's going to actually take your data and write it to disk. So it needs a standard format that it can write things. Um, so it turns out that uh, when it does that, it only ever recreates the fragments using the empty constructor. So this guy up here, this, this empty uh, fragment, uh, is all you get, right? You can write other constructors. They're just not going to get used in that case. Uh, so so not, not very good practice. Right? Um, what it does for persistence uh, to write things to the disk is, is to use a bundle, right? And you'll note that if you actually look at the, at the fragments on create, that just like an on create for an activity, there's a save instance state uh, bundle that's passed in, um, and it, it, it calls up to super to handle some things with the, with the UI. And then if, there's, if any arguments have been set here, then it can restore those. It can call get arguments and get, you know, in this case, what got stubbed in was just a couple of strings here for a couple of parameters, right? Um, but these could be any type that, that we want uh, that can be written into a bundle. So it, it turns out that the, the proper pattern here for us to use is to definitely use the default constructor and to put our data in a bundle. Now, one, you know, one could say, we'll go ahead and, and, and make in, you know, may just use the empty constructor and then do all this kind of work outside and um, when you go to um, create your fragment. Uh, but that's not very well encapsulated, right? So the best thing to do is to do it better, um, uh, to do it together. And very common practice, best practice, is to create this new instance factory method uh, that will do two things, right? So it's going to, um, it's going to create the fragment, 
but then whatever you pass in, sort of what would have been your constructor arguments, uh, are going to get um, uh, packaged up into uh, arguments to the fragment, right? But but bundled arguments. Okay. So what we're going to do is is take a couple minutes, and we're going to. Um, you probably noticed from the stubbed in codes that it gave param one and param two, and those are both strings. We're going to go ahead and just get rid of param two because we only have one that we're passing in, just our document. Uh, so we'll change param one um, to a doc, right? And that's going to happen on the next slide, but I'm going to I'm going to work ahead on that right now and do that. Uh, okay, so anything having to do with param2 just, just goes away. All right, so param2, uh, and I'm not even going to read anything about this. I just I just know I only have one um, one here. So I can I can easily just, just blow these guys away. Um, and right here as well. And that should be it. All right, very good. Um, so let's 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 start thinking about some of these other things here. Uh, so bundles we know get passed in um, as as key values pairs. Um, so kind of kind of like extras with intents. Um, so these right here, these are just the keys essentially. All right, so call them what I want. I might call this doc, for instance, if it, if I wanted to. It is still the first parameter. Uh, I'm gonna refactor this guy. All right, so that it's just arg doc. I have nothing against their naming conventions. So it seems just fine. Um, and I've done that, right? So re rename the parameter arguments, uh, names that, that match, right? So great, okay? Next one is the types of the parameters. Again, our, our fragment needs to, to store an instance of a doc. So doc, my doc, like so. Looks great, okay? Empty constructor, can't touch, uh, it's required. All right, so this guy right here, um, so doc, uh, and I don't really need to have anything to say about that. Uh, we do have to, to uh, change things here within our, our new instance method. Uh, so my parameter is one parameter of type doc. Uh, and then I make the empty fragment, make a bundle, that's all fine. Uh, I'm going to put uh, not a string in there uh, because my, my argument here, this, this doc, uh, isn't, isn't a string at all. Um, what it is is it's an object, right? Um, I'm going to come back to that in a second. The, the correct type to use for this is parcelable, right? And, and as you look things uh, over, that's about the only um, option you have for any kind of object, right? So, so uh, kind of like extras, you only get some pretty basic types here. All right, um, it's given an error. We'll fix that in a minute. All right, I set the arguments, return the fragment. Then when I look at on create, uh, then if there were any arguments, so, so when I constructed it, I, I, I bundled up the, the document here. I just want to pull it back out and save that like so. Okay? And again, this isn't going to be get string. This is going to be get uh, parcelable. All right. And you notice it just takes the key as an argument. All right. Uh, very good work. Okay, This is a big design pattern. Uh, just get used to, to using it whenever you need to, uh, to pass information into your fragment at the time that you're constructing it. All right, and uh, here's here's reference um, if you wanted to uh, to look at it for later. Um, basically, everything that that we did. All right, so the question is here is that since doc is a custom object, how can I pass it in? All right, um, so a little bit more about this parcel rule here. Um, so yeah, the, the the main thing is is that we need to make sure that that it can write it to disk uh, as needed. And you may, may be used to, um, you know, to the term that, that things are serial, serializable, right? And, um, uh, in Android, uh, the, the, the whole thing is we use parsable instead. Uh, and it turns out there's some technical things about, about Java and Android. Um, so it turns out that serialization uh, uses reflection and is, uh, um, is, is fairly slow. So this guy right here, um, you know, did some experiments and he found that, that, uh, that uh, parcelizing the objects was like 10 times faster or more than 10 times faster. Very, very, very impressive. Um, so that's what we're going to use. Now it turns out this, I've, I've got here an example of, of what our document's going to look like once it's parsable. And you see that there's a ton of, of boilerplate code, right? So we basically have to see um, how to construct a, a document from a, from a parcel. There's some stuff here about a creator creating um, objects and arrays um, from, from parcels. Um, there's this required describe contents method here. And then of course you need to be able to write things out to the parcel, All right? Now I've done this before plenty of times uh, in, in the past. But uh, it, it's always the same exact format. It's, it's really, um, really kind of, kind of tedious to do. Um, now, it, it turns out that they've, the, uh, the tool creators have realized that. 
and um, have, have got some really nice uh, support for creating parcels, right? So basically, Android Studio is going to write the whole thing for us with just a few clicks. So let's let's go into our dot class and make it parcelable. And you'll just see just how easy it is. Uh, so here's my doc. Um, as you can see right now, um, all it just has is a constructor and a couple of getters. Uh, so I'm going to say implements uh, parcelable, all right, like so. And of course, it's going to complain. So parcelable is an interface. So, so you want to uh, do you want to um, implement the message? So alt enter. Um, let's see. Whoops, wrong one here. Uh, is going to ask, uh, you know, do you want to implement them? Yes. And do you want these two? Of course. So um, it's, it's going to go ahead and put these guys in. And the next one here, it's still complaining. So it says, uh, you know, do you want to do you want to add the implementation? And yes, of course we do. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, so it actually wrote the implementation. Now this is this is impressive, right? So so all this stuff that 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 I showed you on the last slide sort of magically appears. Um, and really, there's there's not that much to it. I mean, it just basically looks to, to see what what arguments we have, and 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 it makes write strings out of them, right? So so uh, not not a huge deal, but I'm glad I don't have to type it every time. All right, so we've got parcels, um, and I can go just go ahead and double check that that works now. Um, so yeah, so put parcelable, get parcelable, um, no issues here, right? Look, looks looks great. Uh, let's see, I think it'll be happier without that s. All right, awesome. So next thing we're gonna have to do is just fix up uh, the work on our um, in our um, create view so that when we pass in this document, we can display it. And you've seen this this kind of thing before uh, when we were doing uh, the recycler view. So um, we're, we're gonna inflate the layout and then we're gonna capture the, the title and the body view here and then we'll just set the text on each, right? So, so um, nothing nothing too special, All right? But let's, let's do it anyway. Okay, so again, on create gets called first in the life cycle, right? And again, if we wanted to review that real quick, uh, we could see that, that that is the case. So jumping way back. So on create is where we, we get the document and then the next thing it's gonna do is call on create view and that's where we're gonna, um, where we'll make the data show up. So coming coming back here, uh, and then going to, over to, to Studio Code. All right. I want to split up my return into two statements. So let's let's go ahead and and make a view, and then uh, return it. And in between, we'll do the the capturing. Right. So a couple of text views. So and I I forget exactly what what I called them. I just I just looked at it. it was on the slide here. So this is just the the title view, right? So yeah, first one, uh, title view, text view, find view by ID. Uh, oh, I'm finding it in the view. So let's remember to do that. R dot ID um, fragment doc detail title. Right. So nice nice name there. Um, and then let's see, so I'm gonna take this title view and I'm going to set uh, its text uh, with my docs, uh, get, uh, sorry, it's the title view. So let's do get title for that. And then the same thing for the, for the text view, right? Uh, so text view and this, uh, again, I, I keep forgetting what I call these things. Um, so, I, so I just call it body view, uh, that's a good name. So the body of the, of the document. Uh, Cast to a text view, find view by ID, and again, view dot find view by ID, r dot id um, dot fragment doc detail body. Great, and we'll set that guy as well. So the body view set text, and we'll grab the text. Uh, I should probably say get body out of the document. Um, Anyway, so that looks good, and then I can go ahead and return the view, right? and really not not that much more um, going on, uh, except that I will have to actually implement uh, main activities doc selected. All right, so again, I'm going to be doing a fra fragment transaction. So you can probably, if you go back to um, to what we were doing in the nav drawer when we selected a fragment, um, we're going to be doing the same thing here. Only rather than calling a constructor, of course, we'll have to call the new instance method. So I'd recommend. Go ahead and do that now. Uh, try it out, see what you get, and then we'll we'll go over the solution in a minute. All right, so I'm back here uh, in my in my main activity and doc selected. Um, first thing that I did was was basically grab 
um, the fragment transaction from, uh, from, from just up above here. Since then, I'm going to be doing a lot of the same things. Uh, but of course, the, the big thing is, is, is that I need, need this new, new fragment here. Uh, kind of up to you as far as whether you want to separate it out or not. I think, I think on the slides I, I did so I could make a, a doc um, detail fragment here. Um, fragment uh, equals, and again, so I don't know if you noticed that, that this guy is a, it was a static method. So I'm going to use doc detail fragment dot new instance, uh, and then I'm going to pass in the doc. I remember uh, I had that passed. That's part of my callback here. Uh, so I create that fragment, and what I've got, once I've got the fragment, I can just uh, replace it out with that. All right, um, go ahead and, and test things out. See what you get. Make sure that, that everything's working. All right, so I've got it running here, and I'm going to go ahead and and click uh, uh, open up my my thing here and get to a document. So I'll go to one of these, say the Magna Carta, and I click on this guy. And what should happen is that I get the Magna Carta showing up, and I can scroll through it and test this out. Uh, and we see that that it that it works just like that. Um, so again, uh, look back at things if you if you had any issues. Um, but hopefully you got things working right. See you next time. Mm -hmm.